This is Renee with Tridea Partners and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use a company credit card in Dynamics GP. The first thing you'll have to do is set up your credit card company as a vendor in Dynamics GP. So first let's go to the vendor cards here under purchasing and then cards click on vendor and I actually already have my credit card company set up as a vendor. So for today's example I'm using Amex. So here I have that vendor set up so you'll want to just fill out all this information here and then click save and after you've done that you'll want to set up your company credit card and you can do that by going to Microsoft Dynamics GP tools setup company and then credit cards so first off you'll want to enter a name for your credit card I'm just going to use Amex and this top section here applies if you want to set up a credit card to be recorded for customer payments but for our demonstration we're going to be setting up a company credit card so we'll want to select this second checkbox down here you have two options you can either set up the company credit card to be used as a credit card or as a debit card so for this example we're going to choose credit card so I'm going to leave that marked as is and the next step is to assign a vendor to be associated with the Amex card. So I'm going to select my Amex vendor and create that association. Alternatively, if you're creating a debit card, you could be associating a checkbook ID in your system to this credit card. Then you're going to hit save and that completes the setup portion. So next let's enter a sample invoice that we're going to pay off with the Amex card. So we're going to go here to the Payables Transaction Entry window and I'm going to enter in a sample invoice for a sample vendor. So let's use the lookup and let's choose Beaumont Construction. Let's say it was for $300 and as I tab through the field that I'm looking to populate is this credit card field here. So I'm going to enter in $300 and once I tab off the payables credit card entry window opens and this allows me to select the company credit card that I wish to pay with. So if you have multiple cards set up this is where you would make that selection. You can either key in the card name which is what I'm going to do or you can use that lookup glass right here. Here under receipt number, you're going to want to enter a number that you will recognize later on. This receipt number is going to be used as the document number for a payables invoice created for your credit card company. So I'm just going to call this construction invoice 1111. And then the date you can change as needed click OK and then tab through and I'm going to open my distribution screen. If we expand this grid you'll see that I don't have an account entered for my cash account and you're actually going to want to enter your AP account here. The reasoning being that using the credit card as a payment for this invoice creates an accounts payable for your credit card company therefore you're using an AP account. At the same time you're also entering a payment therefore we are using the GL account type of cash. Once that's filled out click OK and you're ready to post. So I'm going to go ahead and post this and once I do two things are going to happen. Cancel out of these the first thing that happens is that your payables invoice to Beaumont Construction moves to history. It's been fully paid off so the system recognizes that document as completed. So if I were to go into inquiry transaction by vendor and let's pull up Beaumont. Over here I have my document and you'll see this was the invoice I had just entered and if I click on apply I also have that Amex payment attached to it and so over here you'll notice that it has a status of historical which means it's fully paid off it's moved to history the same applies to the payment the other thing that happens once that invoice has been posted is that the system creates a second invoice to be paid to your Amex vendor so if I pulled up my Amex vendor 
you'll notice that I have an invoice created with the title construction invoice with five ones. This is the same number that I had entered in the payables credit card entry window. So if we zoom in here, you'll see it's for the same $300 that was used to pay off the Beaumont construction invoice. So now that GP has created open invoices for your Amex vendor, the next step would be for you to build a check batch or enter a manual payment to pay off those invoices. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email, both listed in this slide. Thanks for listening.